Welcome back to episode 3 of our Solo Crusader series for Legends and PTR mod. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today we are going to swing our flail around as much as possible. We're going to start with finding a location just to get a quick cache set up. Because uh, we always want more cash. Let's go northwest around the Wolfwood region. Sweet. 313 tools. That makes our life a little bit easier. But yeah, we just want to keep getting quests done. Oh wow, that was really lucky. I was not expecting it to be behind the uh, mountains. I was expecting it to be hidden in the forests. Which is always very painful when you're finding locations. But that worked out nicely. And that allows us to now... Oh, come on. The Brigant location quest is gone. Well, we're on the hunt for more quests then, so where can we go from here? We're going to have to stick around these places, so let's go back to Awenmark. Awenmark, probably. Uh, and then see if they've got something for us. They do, looking very nice. That looks like green skins. Cave of the Boar sounds like orcs. And a delivery, I'm kind of just not in the mood. Can we deal with orcs? I am intrigued. We are on the latest patch, so having immunities... I don't think we ever had the option to have it. But stun immunities are no longer around. Damage is now gradient. It's on a curve, so it's not like you always hit 100% damage. So it's, combat's going to be a little bit longer than usual, which might prove to be our detriment. We'll have to see how we go. Uh, but I really want to grab Flail Spinner soon. So if we grab this, is it Tier 1? It is. Because it's a Tier 1 quest, I will do it. Four more days of food. Let's just grab another one in case. And I don't think there's anything desperate because we sold a lot of stuff recently. Yeah, there's nothing desperate that we need from here. Uh, how far away is Hohenshans? Hohenshans. That's actually not that far. We can take this. Small fort, prospering city, and prospering city. We can sort of stick around this middle part of the map. It looks like it's going to be very, very good for us. So we don't want to wander too far. Hello. Could we interest you in joining us for a fight? You probably won't want to, though. Yeah, I don't think they're going to help us. Fair enough, we just have to fight some Orc Young. Which means we're going to get stunned very easily. Uh, interestingly enough, we do have something to reduce the number of Orcs against us. So going here is a good play, because there's only going to be five surrounding us instead of the six. Uh, the big question is... Oh my goodness, they're rolling on 20s. Woo-wee! Let's go for the triple hit. I mean, the five times hit. That was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We even got a stun off of it. 20% chance to stun. I am liking this. And this guy can't do anything about it. And he's the one that can stun us with his weapon, and these guys all didn't rush us, so I'm happy. I am worried about the percents. These 25s will mean somebody's going to hit us eventually. There it is. That got a kill and a stun? I'm now worried about him, and he didn't rush us. Nice. Ouch. I'm intrigued as to why they're not changing the percents too much. They have... Cleaver strikes, I guess, for the 10% chance to hit. Uh, I just don't see them having fast adaptation and all that. But pattern recognition should give us melee defense as well. Fair enough. That was another nice double kill. Okay, the now they're rolling on 5%. That was a rough 5% hit. That is how you win. Whoo-wee! I am loving this. 
I am still worried for heck for our defense because that hurt. Any more of those 25s and we might have lost our lives there. Oh, we need heavy armor and fast. Uh, let's get some more stats, especially defense. Might need some more health. We do have mind over body and we're already swinging at 19 fatigue. Means we don't need any more resolve. I'm gonna go for that health because, yeah. We need to make sure we survive all this. I really want flail spinner. Is there anything defensively we can get? I want survival instinct. That, unfortunately, I have to wait to get flail spinner, but survival instinct will make us a beast. An absolute unkillable beast. So. I should have gotten that ages ago, I didn't realize how good it was, but I realize it now, and we need it desperately. Okay, let's go back and heal ourselves up. I think we get to yeah, hand it in at any location we want. So let's go to the closest location, and safely camp there as well. Now I don't want anyone ambushing us, because that would completely ruin us. Yeah, no thank you. I don't care how easy you are. Lucky hits against us will totally kill us at this moment in time. We get paid 850, which is really nice. I'm gonna go up into the mountains here and rest. Uh, actually, wait, who has a temple? Yeah, you don't have anything. There's a temple up there. There's a temple over there. I'm just gonna... Not. No, we have to go to a temple. It's gonna take us way too long to deal with that. Just wanna make sure these brigands and orc marauders don't go after us. Oh boy. Interestingly enough... That is a goblin settlement, I think. Goblins would kind of screw us over. They're very good at ruining uh, lone wolf style plays because they have nets and they have poison. I mean, almost any enemy is good at ruining a lone wolf style play. <laughs> uh, let's go to the temple and fix up our problems. Caravan... Not really keen on it. Unless Grunforced is really close. 150 bucks to go that way is not worth it for us, actually. Selling at 19? Sure. Oh, we don't need that. And we'll keep all those just for the moment. Shop's kind of refreshed. We've got 14 days of food. We're set. I guess those rolls look pretty good, but not, not enough. Okay, let's go wandering to the next questing location. Oh, wow. Wait, our ripped ear just got fixed. Not going to complain about that in the slightest. We will need to fight 12 more enemies. Uh... Wish we could repair quickly. That's the only thing we really need to do whilst camping. We could always just visit a, um... Whatchamacallit, like an armory place and have it repaired for us. That's quite expensive, but if it only takes a few hours for us to repair what we need to repair, then we'll be fine. I don't like the poachers. As much as I want to fight brigands all day... I just don't want to fight the archers, because we are completely useless against archers. Ah, bad habit. Uh, what are we going for? Nothing interesting. What are the quests? Tier 2 for patrol. Ooh, that is lucrative indeed. And I think we just grab it from the get-go, because there's no other quest that I'd want to take. Sweet. Now we can go chase down those guys, and hopefully 
They're getting chased by the army. Is the army catching them? They really want them. And it's nighttime, so maybe... Well, we got ambushed, but that's fine. Nighttime means we shouldn't deal with this too badly. And survival instinct's gonna make a big difference, so let's go in. And... I just want to go for a... No, let's go for a double hit. Because that stacks the pattern recognition. And all the good stuff. Yeah, Survival Instinct, we're already at maximum. Lucky 5%, but I don't think they're going to get much more than that. We'll have to spend most of our money coming up. <laughs> it's beautiful. We'll have to spend most of our money coming up on more armor. We just need to get heavier. That's just all it is. Resilient already keeps us safe. Stacking health. And then we can start going to damage like Flail Spinner. And I can't wait till we get it. <laughs> the game lags so much because there's so much to hit and register. I love it. And we're doing a lot of headshots, I think, as well. Oh no, there's like half body shots. That is a concussion, so that's a definite headshot. The archers are finally shooting us again. We're only on 22s, and that's not super scary. Yeah, lucky 5%. We'll be fine. Let's deal with you, buddy. Not liking the dazes and the baffles, though. That's annoying. Oh, we got the stun. I didn't want to get the stun. Because if he was able to flee, then we could have gotten the kill. Uh, if I wait... He dies, and then I can rush them. Yes! Good play, good play. And then they can stop going for ranged attacks and go for melee attacks. And then if I wait again... He dies as he runs. We then walk forward and kill that one too. You stop rolling those 5%, buddy. Stop it. 200 bucks, beautiful. Some actual nice loot. Not complaining. And that's already 10 heads collected. I do want to <laughs> go get a little bit of repairs done. So let's figure out where we have to go. We have to go to Tiffin Mark. Or Typhon Mark. So let's go to this place and just quickly rest for our next fight. Nice. And for prices, selling on 19, we can clear up the inventory as usual. Because we don't need a ton of tools and stuff. A ton of um, salvaging. That's just a waste of time. We just use our money for buying what we need. Because one person camping makes things impossible to do at a decent speed. So, spending zero bucks a day, we only deal with what we need to deal with. Um, it wants us to go all the way over there? Sheesh. This is uh, not the most efficient patrol, but it's something. And most importantly, we need to find someone wanting to ambush us. Because literally everybody wants to ambush us. Hahaha. <laughs> That's one of the easiest parts. If you're looking for a fight, it's so easy to find. Uh, let's walk forward and go for a round. Nice. Missed the dog, weirdly enough. But that just stacks our survival instinct, so I'm not complaining. Survival instinct gives you plus two... So plus ten defense in melee and ranged if you get hit. Twice, so plus five for every actual hit that hits you. Wow, we got our morale checked? At what, 120 morale? Now it's down to 108? Damn. But yeah, as I was saying, survival instinct is really useful, especially in a lone wolf build. Uh, whenever you are missed, you get plus three in melee and range defense, just temporarily to your next turn. Uh, plus five on a hit temporarily to your next turn. 
but you can permanently get plus 10 for the rest of the fight if you take two hits. Uh, it doesn't go any higher than that. Everything higher than that just gets reset at your next turn. So, yeah, it's very, very nice. And I really should have used it earlier. But look at that. Beautiful damage. And that gets us to confident. Love to see it. And it's just a 5% fight now. But if you haven't seen our recent videos or seen the live streams on the weekend, you can now notice the chances of people hitting you on 5% for 100% uh, damage is a lot reduced. Because now you have to roll a 5%, not twice, but... You have like a 5% chance to have no reduced damage, and a 95% chance to have something reduced. Scaling, of course, and uh, I think Minus was explaining that it's a little bit worse depending on how badly you're aimed for your hit. So basically, if we're hitting a 95% chance, we have a 95% chance to have this damage roll, whatever it says on those red texts, 60 to 100, 0 to 40, 66 to 110. And we have a 5% chance that this somehow fumbles the attack and we get reduced damage. Uh, if you're rolling on 5%, then you have obviously a 95% chance to fumble. And they got us a glancing hit, which was on a... No, that was us. 80% 80 80 chance to hit. We rolled the 20 for damage, unfortunately. And we did a glancing hit reduced by 16%. Now, they hit us for a... where's the 5% that they hit? There. So, the War Dog hit us for a 5%, but he rolled the 95% to get damage, damage reduction, and his attack was pathetic, dealing 59% reduced damage. So, I really love this because it slows combat down, makes it more strategic, and makes every sort of tactical decision that much more important, and makes your stats more important. But one of the fun things that it does is it reduces those 5% one-shots that hit you. So on a very, very rare occasion, will you ever have these 5% do a ton of crap damage to destroy you? So I like that, and especially for a lone wolf run, it's a very nice thing to have. Uh, I'm going to move forward because I know they're going to chase me. And that sets me up for a nice swing for the next turn. And I know I'm slower than practically everyone in this game, so <laughs> they'll all surround me before my turn. Nicely done. Beautiful swing. And these combat rounds are surprisingly going faster even though that the damage reduction has happened, but that's because our accuracy is good. Now he had a 32% reduced, which means he didn't roll too bad. But he rolled bad enough that we got a damage reduction, which is nice. <laughs> nice rally, bud. You're gonna move away. Can we catch you? Probably not. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to catch these guys. No! <laughs> We're gonna lose the XP. Yes, we caught him. No! He waited. The jerk. Oh, and he did it again. Yes, we caught him! I was not expecting that, but I guess they're not actually running. These guys are fearless. They think they can still take us. Nice! Even if it's an extra 50 XP or whatever, it all makes a difference. 920, not bad. 87 bucks and a little bit of loot. And a free food. That spoils in 9 days. I like it. Now, I don't think that was 12 enemies, though. I will quickly camp. Yeah. I think that was 11. But we did get another 10 heads, or... Yeah, because there's one dog. And they don't count. Weirdly enough. But they're just... Yeah, it's it makes sense. Marketplace. Selling for 14 is not worth it. And we can head back, but I do want to catch another Brigand fight or something. Let's hope we can find someone else. Not super keen on going for the undead at the moment. It might be a bit too tricky. We still have three days, so I'm sure we'll find something. Oh, 
Oh, all this running around, plus one maximum fatigue. Very nice. Hmm. We might just have to do the undead fight if there's nothing else around. Or we get, like, the undead raiding party. Ah, oh, ha, 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 there they are. What's in the party, though? 20 with Noxidas and Weird Gangers. I don't want the Noxidas eating. I just don't. I know they can't eat me, but eating each other is very hard to deal with. If you're getting tier 3s hitting you all the time, even we can't deal with that. We've only got one day left, so we're doing the last little trip. Hopefully finding some sort of raiding party along the roads. But I think we just have to call it quits. Interesting, a bunch of kids are excited for the Gladiator Tournament. I am... I don't think we'd ever get a chance to win that as a solo. We got 20, not bad, not bad. For the right price we'll find it. A uh, long way to the east. What's the other option? I'm sure it's a delivery. No, it's a caravan. No, we can't do caravans. Let's find a location for 360. Long way to the east means it's probably here-ish. Front field, it says. Where the heck is front field? I have no idea. Okay, that was a lot shorter than I thought. Fair enough. So there's two sets of undead at the moment. And that is a little worrisome. But we'll keep stacking those quests and trying to find a 12 enemy fight. You're being marauded by greenskins, but you're not asking us to help you. Weird choice by the town. Because I wouldn't mind fighting greenskins again. But luckily there's a lot of quests in all of these towns. Uh, tier 1... No, I'm not in the mood for deliveries. Fighting orcs won't come cheap. Collapsed ruin for 2.7. Ho ho! That tempts me, but it also scares me because those orcs had 25s on us last time. Yeah. I want Flail Spinner. And this might be the only way to get it. It's also way too risky. Let's see if there's an easier quest to get a level up beforehand. Because a 2700 fight is something not to poke a stick at. And expect us just to get an easy win. Follow the tracks, I'd like to do that. No, I'm not going to do a delivery. Okay, I'll rather do a 1200 green skin. Okay, so let's do both of these. And then we can work our way up to the 2700 one. Especially since we need to buy some more armor. So we might have to pay a visit to a stronghold sometime soon. Nice confident early on. Excuse me. Uh, spin because why not? Even though we could have just gone single, single. Double stun on the same guy. How do you feel? Yeah, single didn't kill in the one shot. And we almost got a perfect hit on his head. That is unfortunate. We probably just rolled really bad on the damage roll itself. But having the double kill there works as well. Go for the headshot and get a kill? No, it was a body shot. That's alright. We got this. That's still not enough XP. But this orc fight will definitely give us enough XP. So please keep that quest for us for when we return. Yes, it's still here. I don't care how far forced land is, and I think it is to the east, if I'm remembering correctly. Selling for 19, we can empty the inventory. Nicely done. Tools are a bit low, but I'm not spending 339 on them. 
Yeah, Forced Land is there. Not far at all. Uh, where would they be? That is a good question. They'll come from a certain distance eventually. Goblins, eh? Hmm. I did mention how I didn't really want to fight goblins. We stopped a thief, that's nice. I don't really want to fight goblins in the dark. I mean, I do want to fight them in the dark. Oh, there's the footprints. Ah, wow, that scared me. <laughs> they just came out of the bushes. I do want to fight goblins in the dark, I apologize. I didn't want to fight goblins in the forest. And technically this isn't the forest, so I don't complain. But the good thing about fighting goblins is that they're practically a one-shot for this flail. Uh-huh, I'm gonna wait. Please surround me. Thank you. Your shields don't mean anything to me. And sadly we rolled low on the damage. 17% reduced, but I think because flails are very wild with their rolls, very RNG based, you either do 60 or you do like 100 or something in between, so you can roll either really low or really high and it deals with armor as well. Lucky misses. Shield walls make a difference, so they got a little bit lucky there. But this next hit should hopefully kill two or three. Even better, it was three. Uh-huh, you still think you have a chance, buddy. Fair enough. We're gonna play Ring Around the Rosie, are we? Oh, I didn't chase him properly. Slowly making the catch. Come on. Corner him. There we go. Finally got him near the edge. Triple hits. Nice try, buddy. 682 and the level that we needed. Okay, now we can take on the bigger fight. If it's still there. I'm not 100% sure it's still going to be there. But I am leaning towards that flail spinner. I don't think there's any other defensives other than, like, personal armor. Which is pretty decent. But our damage output makes it so that enemies won't do as much damage to us if we kill them faster. So it's a bit of a balance in between those things. And it's a tricky balance to master, and I, I've obviously not mastered it. But hopefully I've gotten the right hang of it. We do have immunities, interestingly enough, even though the patches were changed. Uh, I think it's because this is a guy from a previous patch. I'm not going to grab immunities, because that isn't super fair, and it's also very expensive to spend two perks on immunities when we need to do other things. That is nice as well. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go for Flail Spinner. Extra attacks is just helpful. Beautiful stats. Wish we rolled the four, but that's okay. And let's get some more of that health. Nice, we're up to 90. Okay, uh, we can hand this quest in anywhere, which is nice. So, Forced Land can give us this quest finished. They're also requesting that we do a delivery. Uh, sorry guys, you didn't get the memo. And uh, we don't want to do that. Let's see if this quest is still here. It probably isn't. It is? No way. But then there's a thousand dollar follow the tracks, so that is tempting. But I know this quest has been here too long and it's gonna go away soon. Oh, I just know that's gonna be a tricky fight. Fine, fine, fine. We'll risk it, we'll risk it. I think we're strong enough and where is it? It is to the west so we can go right past the fortification. Ah, but that's not the fortification I wanna go next to, it's this one. Weaponsmith Armor, yep. Yeah. Because if we go past Wormberg, it'll allow us to buy some more armor to make this easier to deal with. We need heavier stuff, and we've got 11 grand, and we're not spending on anything else unless we find a famed weapon, 
or famed armors. That's what we're going to spend it on. Checking out cheap tools and supplies. Definitely going to be grabbing a bunch of those. In terms of armors, nothing's really on sale in the general store. Weapons, what do you have? Nothing. Armors, what do you have? A famed tier 1. We don't have the money for it, but that is very tempting. 5 for 80 as a tier 1 helmet. 5 for 100 is the best one to grab. We do want expensive stuff. 4 grand for the bassinet is better. Technically. Uh, what body armors do they have? The 5 for 60, which I think we are wearing. What are we wearing? No, we're wearing better than that. We just need a really good tier 2. So our tier 1 is fine. We need a strong tier 2. 65 for 8 is good. That one is better. But it's 6 grand. <laughs> Minus 24 fatigue. Do we have brawny? Oh my goodness, we don't. But we don't care, because we have 57 usable fatigue. So, it's risky and such a waste of money. But I think we need to get the heavy lamellar armor. Because out of the options, we have a 70, an 80, a 65, or something that's just amazing. So let's grab that. Uh, I'm leaning towards the bassinet. But then we're out of money, and I'm worried about that. So let's grab the deep salet. Because we're wearing a tier 1 for 70. That actually doesn't give it a big increase, does it? No, it doesn't. We want a better base helmet, because we're on 40. 75, 85. I'll take the 85. And we'll take the darker one, because it looks cooler. Yeah, for that price, we are making a better choice with our money. There we go, we're up to 200. Up to 353. Battleforge is down to 73, which is nice. We still have 29 usable fatigue, which allows us to thresh whenever we want. Uh, weirdly enough, it's only on 20? Huh. It used to be on 19, didn't it? Oh, it's probably on 19 when we are confident in the fight. Anyways, getting Bulwark and stuff will help us with that. Yeah, looking good. Only thing we could really add to this is uh, some nice attachments like Bone Plating or the Light Armor attachment that reduces you and gives you Nimble. Uh, I can't think of anything else we desperately need. I think we're ready. And I'm saying that with 90% uh, confidence. Though that is very tempting. I didn't even notice that. The Venerable Deacon's Lament. But it's not worth it because it's only a 90. When we can get something like a 185 later on. Uh, I think we just have to do this now. Yep, let's go. We'll have to obviously be careful along the way there, and definitely along the way back, because, as usual, everything hates us. Uh-huh, nice and slow. That is a goblin den, with an overseer and a lot of skirmishers. Surprisingly, that is doable, even though the overseer is scary. Um... I would like to do it at night, just because they have throwing weapons, and weirdly enough it's only 9 young. I shouldn't speak so soon, but we're taking the high ground, 100%. Yep, there's the stun. That's okay, we'll take the high ground, we'll be fine, what's gonna happen now? No more stuns, good. Completely surrounded. 
And we didn't get our morale checked. I'm happy to see it. Pattern recognition is getting us to practically 5% on everything. Beautiful double stun. Did that rotate twice? Because I'm interested in seeing how a uh, flail spinner works. Because I think, and I think I've been told, that you can do a double spin. I don't think we did it this time, though. But I think you can do the double swing around. If it procs. Nice. This is so much better than 25%. We can't thresh? Did we not get to maximum fatigue? Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna kill the back ones, because if the back ones die first, then these guys take forever to join the fight. There's a 5% with a 25% reduced damage. It's not too bad. Could have been better. I want to be at maximum fatigue every single time, because then we minus 20 and use 19. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Was that the double swing? Is that why that lagged so much? That looks like it was a double swing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That is what this is all about. The double swing because of Flail Spinner. Just absolutely decimated, and it can proc the stun as well. Oh, <laughs> this is where we're at, and this is what I love. It is only Orc Young, so I'm going to have to be a lot more worried when we fight bigger things. But for the moment, this is doing well. Did it do it again? Six. No, that was just a six. But regardless, I'm having fun. The high ground is giving us a nice advantage, and I'm loving it. If we didn't have the high ground, it might have been a little bit more chances of them getting some lucky hits early on in the fight, before pattern recognition really got us there, and before survival instinct got a couple of stacks. So, it is very valuable for us to find high grounds every single time we take a fight. And if we can't, then... We're just gonna have to try and get some more luck. But that, I think, was a double spin. Yep. That was a double three spin to make six attacks on three enemies. Beautiful. So it's proccing fairly often. I like it. Let's go again. And that's every one of them dead. And we didn't take many hits. We got a little bit of loot. We're kind of destroying everything we hit. But we got 19 tools. I think that's one of the better, better pieces of loot from this fight. What? Interesting. We saved someone? I'm going to say welcome to the company, because I want to see what this was. We saved a raider? Wow, he's got good stats. We're not keeping him. No, we can't keep the puppy that just joined. But we can steal his armor. And be reveling in the fact that we got ourselves somebody saved from an orc encampment. Pretty sweet. Anyways, thanks for dropping by, buddy, and we'll let you be on your way. But that was a really cool interaction. Uh, I can see a slight problem. We might need a second flail. Holy crap. It's down to 21%? Maybe we need to fight some Alps and get in a Rune of Unbreaking or something? Or just, you know, stack three of these in our inventory. Yep, I know what I'm buying next. <laughs> We're going back to Wormberg, please. I didn't check if they had another one. I don't think they do. But the hunt for buying another flail is on. Oh boy. That's what this whole run's going to be about. Finding more flails every single time. But that was a beautiful fight, and we got paid wonderfully for it. And I think we got a little bit of a bonus because we saved a guy. We were meant to get paid 27, we got paid 28. They got raided? Aw, oh, you poor things. After you got your Marauding Greenskins done, you got raided. Wow, they lost everything. Thank goodness we got here first. Uh, selling at 17? No, we can do better. 
There are some beast footprints up there which I'm slightly interested in. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. Not in the slightest. Even on a good day. No. Spiders, no. I'll fight orcs. I won't fight spiders. We will get new quests from around these parts. Or the same quest. I like it. I also like buying... Oh, I should have bought some more tools at the place before it got raided. Ah! They were so cheap as well. But I forgot to do it. Selling at 19. Let's in empty the inventory. Uh, we don't need that. I don't think I sold anything important. Doesn't look like it. Nice. Back up to 8k... We have no injuries, because we did well. Uh, tier 2 for Caravan, not interested at all. Let's do a $1,000 follow the quest. And uh, we could repair a little bit. Cannibal, no. I mean, he's got super crappy stuff on him. Not worth our time. Is that everything repaired? Nicely done. Where are the tracks going? Southeast. And there's some beasts around. I think they just got destroyed by the militia. In the forest, eh? Fair enough. A little bit slower to walk around, but we'll take it. Might as well. Though, we shouldn't have probably killed him. We could get more stacks of survival instinct. And we didn't even get confident from the kill? Sheesh, we are losing our touch. We got confident from the second dog. Okay, so... We had that. I want the double spin. I want to kill them all in one turn. Come on! Yes! Yes! The double spin is real. And that is a whole load of pain. No reduced damage, perfect hits. A little bit of reduced damage on those hits. No reduced damage on that one. 60% reduced... Oh, that was when he hit us. Sweet. But I think that was the double... Yeah, yeah, it looked like it was a double um, swing. And one more swing and we win. Nice. How many hits was that? One, two... That was a double swing as well, so the last guy took two hits instead of one. Nice. And we're out of stamina, so it's going to take forever to get to this guy. No, it isn't. Sweet. Rebound is good. Barely surviving there, buddy. Not anymore. Uh, we actually got salute from that. <laughs> Was not expecting it. A nice grand. It's gonna go to our armor fund, or my our tools fund. The food fund is super cheap, so we never have to worry too much about that. Though something did just expire. So we'll wait till morning. Get a little bit more. More Marauding Greenskins. I have a feeling that uh, the End Crisis might be Greenskins. I can't remember if I chose it that way or just left it on random. But regardless, it's going to be interesting. I think I put it to Undead. Eh, yeah, no. You guys can lose the caravan. I got more important things to fight. Yeah, we'll do another Follow the Tracks quest. And we'll do... No. No, I don't like doing hunting quests. And I'm not super keen on doing Alps, Unholds, and Hexen either. Yeah. 
But we'll do a follow the tracks quest, unfortunately, towards those Noxera that were just over there. But they're not running from us, which is good. After this, we gotta go shopping. Really gotta find that other flail. Take the high ground. The double dogs get us confident, that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, you're getting hit by your own friend, buddy. It sucks to be you. Oh, the double hit! Oh, I was not expecting that to double hit. I was sort of expecting it to kill him in one hit, but it killed him in two. Sweet. This is way too much fun. Oh, a double hit again. Flail Spinner is way too much fun. We have no stacks of Survival Instinct. We haven't been hit yet. Which is definitely not something I'm complaining about. Oh, there's there's the stack. I complain about it and I get two 5% in a row. Yep. Yep. I should have expected that. Shouldn't have complained. <laughs> Shouldn't have boasted, basically. There's the double. Sadly, it didn't do very much on that second roll. Mm-hmm. We can chase you down. We know you're in the bush. Only a single. But it's enough. Not really good loot. But, you know, we're getting paid. We're getting renowned. The quests are getting more expensive. We're getting XP mainly, like even these crappy quests, that was like 650 XP, which is absolutely amazing. We're almost up to level 12. Uh, already. Like that's amazing. Level 13 is where we get another free perk. Because we are a starting character, we are the only character in the party. Uh, let's go up to Tiffin Mark. I love doing these four places. Definitely good to have four giant cities next to each other at all times. Do I think Wormberg is done with their raiding problems? Oh, these are tempting. Nope, not that. Bring inside a location. I am tempted. Green skins for 1400 around Force Land. Also tempted. Hmm. Lots of tempting offers. Uh, maybe we should do them before we get another flail. <laughs> yeah, because these are more guaranteed. Uh, where is the... I'm trying to remember where the other... Yeah, there's one up in Summersburg. I remember going to that one. And I think there was one on the right-hand side of the map as well. That we tried to shop in. Because this map is garbage for places. Yeah, Grunberg. I think Grunberg was the one that sold us what we needed. There's a couple down here. Where we started the game in. Uh, let's just do these quick quests. Location is on a hill. Fair enough. That should be slightly problematic when it comes to poachers. If they get a good start against us. If we start at the bottom of a hill, that's going to hurt. Uh, of course we start at the bottom of the hill. Okie dokie. Please don't hit us. I'm ignoring the dogs and just making a break for it. we got to rush them. And we get free survival instincts, which gives us range defense. Which is awesome. These dogs are going to make it... Very, very hard for the archers to hit us. Which is a beautiful interaction for a person as such as us that have only like one range defense, I think. Our base range defense is one. <laughs> uh, dang it, now we can't get around him. One, two, three, four. Oh, I went the... Ah, oh, the silly map. Anyways. If we get surrounded here, I think we have to kill them. Oh no, we didn't, did we? Yeah, we did. 
We missed the 95, but the second 95 almost gets the kill. That was a very funny action. Sadly, it didn't get us the kill. Let's go for the hit and walk forward, stacking that survival instinct. Good, good. Hit your friends. Good! You don't need your friends. Dogs with the surround, that's fine. Beautiful. We still have a path out. We're up to nine misses. Nine times three is 27. And now it reset. Oh, he hit us on a 24, you jerk. And he baffled us, so we're completely screwed. That's okay. We'll try it next turn. We have so much armor. This isn't a threat. I mean, I could just swing, but I want to catch these. Oh, now I have to, I think. Dang it. You forced my hand. Yeah, that's a triple stun. <laughs> oh, is that a quadruple stun? No, no, no. I think it's just a triple. Yay. Nice, 5%. That sounded like a double swing. Oh, don't kill your friend. That means we don't get the XP. Oh, you jerk. <laughs> you ruined our XP. Sitting on a lot of survival instinct misses, which is beautiful. Puts us up to, like, 13. Rushing these archers will be helpful. Minus 5 fatigue recovery for the brigand. He means going to take a while to get to us. Nice. You poor thing. Uh, we'll go for the dunk. And walk over there. Very nice. I'm going to wait and go for the triple. Beautiful. Uh, and then do nothing, I guess. These little hits don't bother me. We got this. We got this in the bag. Nice. Yeah, you're going to get some lucky hits from over there, but that's fine. We'll get you. Come on. If we stay at... No, we should just rush him completely. Come on. We'll hit the edge of the map eventually. Yes. Nicely done. 773, 160 bucks, some free tools, a good fight. And for 1500 bucks, you know, definitely worth our time. I am leaning towards the green skins, but I want to go shopping first. I know those green skins will be up for a different quest later on anyways. Someone else will ask for it. When it comes to those types of old quests, they usually last a little bit longer. Many towns try and do the same quest. It's getting close to the end of the episode, and I'm like, yeah, we should probably go shopping just before we finish. Because I want to see if we can grab what we want to grab. They are needing repairs. That's tempting. Oh, I saw red and I was like, please be the weapon we want, and it's not. Selling for 17. Dang it. Dang it. 6 for 65. Wow, I haven't seen a great bassinet visor before. I've seen a few decent tier 2s in my time. But that's the best one I've seen. We'll take it. 180 for 13. I think that's better than the 185 that we saw before. But that might have been for 12, so maybe not. Anyways. Yeah, I'm keen for that pickup. And what's this quest? 
Alwyn Mark is on our way back. Yeah, we'll get we'll do that quest for sure. And we'll happily upgrade our helmet to look even cooler. <laughs> we look like a woodpecker. It's hilarious. It looks good though. It looks good. Uh, is everything repaired though? Ah, uh, almost, almost. Now, before I do forget, yes. 209 is good for tools, so let's stock up a little bit. 3, 4, 5 is 100. Screw it, we'll stock up completely. And then we can slowly repair as we walk. And once we walk back to our favorite locations, we're gonna get paid, because we're gonna get a kill. Ah, there's the footprints. Yeah. Oh, what is it you carry? Sure. Ten bucks. We get to have good spirits. That is super cheap. It's less than we spend on a lot of other things. Ah! Did a 90 degree turn. I know we're close. We're following the footprints. Four goblin raiders for a thousand bucks, eh? In the middle of the night? Ah, a net. I see we meet again. Yeah, these damages aren't going to really bother us too much. That was the double swing, I think. Nice. Double swing and only 172 actually hit. It was worth it. And it stacks the pattern recognition as well. Which is just, oh, so many good interactions. We're already at plus 16 against this poor thing. You poor thing, man. You are never destined to win. Time to chase. That's one down. You gotta push in your way, buddy. Yeah, I think the, um, the game gave us a little bit of an easy one this time. Just a little bit. And at the best timing, too, during night. You got the high ground, bud. You're still running on fives. See is. Uh, yeah. Not bad. And because we can hand it in here, we get the free money. No, I don't want a delivery. The Barbarian King. Hmm. Are we strong enough? To beat the Barbarian King now. I'm not entirely sure. It's asking for 5.5k. How are we at the moment? We gotta level up. Plus one, plus one, and... The health makes a bigger difference, I think. We don't get our perk yet. We need to get 5,000, 4,000, 4,500 more XP. What would we take? It's either we get the Barbarian King now. We are doing blunt damage, so hammer perks are going to be super valuable. Mace perks are going to be valuable. We can do extra injuries. What else can we do? Formidable Approach. Reduce the melee skill and melee defense of enemies who enter your zone by 10% of your melee skill. That's strong. And it's only half, of effect, uh, half as effective against enemies with two-handed weapons. And if the two-handed weapon enemies have this perk, they cancel each other out. So we can minus the melee skill and melee defense of enemies by 10 when they walk towards us. That is a perk I want. That makes us survive so much more, and allows us to get our swings off so much more accurately. This has a negative 10% chance to hit. It normally has a negative 15, but we have Flail Mastery. So I want Formidable Approach before I take on the Barbarian King. 100%. Because I'm sure he has it. Reach, what? Reach Advantage would be really good as well. Oh, because every time you attack with a two-handed melee weapon and we're swinging in a circle, 
we get plus five defense for the next turn. That's only on the hits. If you miss, it doesn't count. But I definitely want, what is it, professional? To give you reach, mass, reach advantage, bloody harvest, which is the... It's n There it is. 10% chance to hit on your AoEs, which means this no longer has a negative, and 10% increased damage. Ugh, there's so many perks I want. Do we need this first? It gives us Weapon Master as well. I think we need Formidable Approach. That's, that's my logic. Reducing their melee skill, especially against Barbarians, which love to surround you and do a bunch of crap. Use Annoying Cleavers for Bleeds, which we're okay against. I think we need Formidable Approach. And we're only four and a half grand away. It's not going to be that hard to get to. So we'll have to pass up this opportunity at the moment. Uh, it is practically the end of the episode, but I'm still going to hunt around for a quest opportunity for to start next episode. Sadly, the Barbarian King is off the table until we get to level 13. What can we do instead? No, I'm not doing a caravan. Interesting footprints. Ah, oh, they're friendlies. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's an interesting fight. No, we're not going to fight them. Fighting noble armies would be interesting. Uh, I just think we'd get completely destroyed. Absolutely destroyed by Arbalesters. That would be the worst thing to deal with. No, I don't want a delivery. No, I don't want a caravan. A lot of marauding greenskins, which the uh, towns should be paying us for. Do they still want us to get rid of them? They do! Aw, oh, that's so nice of them. And we can also find a location. But I think we need to get this marauding greenskins before it disappears. Seasonal fare is very good for money. Selling at 24. Time to empty the inventory. Looking beautiful. And we could get a little bit of food. Why not? Sort ourselves up for another seven days. That's looking pretty decent for the moment. Uh, ancient wood is an interesting grab. Don't think we'll need it, but if we ever do, we know where to find it. Uh, nothing we can get on the taxidermist except for War Dog. I want to fight a white on hold to be able to make ourselves the additional fur padding. That's going to make me really happy. Bone plating's not very useful in this run because you're going to be taking like so many hits constantly that stopping one of them doesn't change a thing. But stopping damage that goes through your armor, getting amazing things like the armor of the mountain, oh man, if we fight a rock on hold, that would be interesting. I don't know if we'd win, I don't think we'd win, but we could try, if we ever get to that point. But starting next episode on the green skin sounds good to me, and we haven't fought 12, have we? Huh. We're going to have to fight 12 enemies next episode, aren't we? Anyways, hope you enjoyed our solo experience so far, beating up some green skins and enjoying the beautiful perks that are happening at the moment, and the lovely changes to PTR as well. Definitely can't wait for Formidable Approach, but until next time, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next video. Catches.